Hello there, I am Giant Kuvoto, and here's an update video. Basically, as you see by the title, there won't be any videos coming up anytime soon. But, I have to explain that. So, today's my 5 year anniversary on YouTube, and before I uploaded this video, I uploaded my 5 years on YouTube, which was uh, answering the one question, and then the room tour 2014, and then 50 facts about Giant Kuvoto, me. So I did all the, I did like three separate videos, but put on one video, three separate segments, I should say. As you see right here, I have like my notes and my pictures I used. Yeah, for some of them, I mean, some of them I just got off of Google Images. And don't worry, I'm not, I don't claim I own any of the images I got off Google Images. Like I'll show you what images I did make by myself, but I did use Google Images to make the to help do it. I made all these. You've seen them in the previous video I uploaded, which was a 5 year anniversary on YouTube. I've been on YouTube for 5 years now. Oh yeah. So, I don't claim I own any of those pictures, and I don't... I'm not making money off of them either, because I disabled my monetization, because like, I'm not even a YouTube partner at all. Like, I can't even get... I, for some reason, my AdSense account won't go through, and I don't really want to be a YouTube partner, as I said before. Like, I have enough money to keep me on my feet, and I don't need... I don't really need a job off of making YouTube videos. I make them because I have fun with them, really. I don't mind if I don't make money off of YouTube videos. And it's all through the AdSense and the ads. So, and I don't get that many views, to be honest, so it wouldn't really help me if I had, if I were a YouTube partner. I don't even have the views for it to get, like, actual money. Actual good money, or decent money. So there you go. Here's my grotto right here, like, my, this is my computer background. Also right here. No, no, not right there, that's my volume. Okay, so today is actually the 23rd. I am actually recording this a day early, so I get this up on time. So, if you're wondering, like, why is the 23rd, man? Well, I just wanted to record this ahead of time. So, when I said it's my 5-year anniversary, I'm, when I'm recording it, now, it's not really, it's the day before it. But when this is uploaded tomorrow, which is the 24th, which is actually my 5-year anniversary, I will, it'll be, it'll make half sense. So, I got, let's see how many days of summer I still left. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, going into August. I lost track. I lost track. Dang it. Okay. So let me try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 on Saturday, okay, going to August, um, August, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, I approximately have 34 days left in for my summer, so that's like just over a month. I'll put a text away in case I counted it wrong again for the third time or second time, whatever. I mean, I lost track of how many times I may have forgot. That's sad. So as you see, I go back to school on the 13th of August, and that's a Wednesday. Now I don't know how why we go back to school the middle of a in the middle of a week, because usually we get we actually go back usually on the 14th, and it's not fair because we had like. We had, um, I, we had like four snow days, but I think one of them didn't count, but we still had to make, cause we can now have three snow days and we had four, but I thought one of them didn't count, so we didn't have to make up one day. Um, I actually got it on, on the 23rd of May instead of the 22nd, which I usually get off on the 22nd. But so we had to make up the snow day, and I don't know how we go back a day early. I mean, like, they're just trying to take a day away from us, I don't know. But I'm okay with that. So that also means that Sam, the road TBOC, Matt, Ultimate, everyone, slash Somber Variable, and then Gus, Thice Slapper, Golf Guy, or Mr. Winternizers, or Frapkisk, I think, like, he, he just uses Mr. Winternizers, or his Google Plus name is Thice Slapper, Golf Guy. He still needs to make a picture, but I don't rush him on that. I mean, I'll, I'll help him make a picture tomorrow, because my friends are actually coming over tomorrow, and it's my family anniversary, yay. And to celebrate, I am going to go to an all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet. I haven't been to an all-you-can-eat buffet since in like two years since my my dad and my stepmom um, they had this surgery where um, they make the, they take out a lot, like three three fourths of their stomach, so they they they, they don't fill up easily. And you know, all-you-can-eat buffets are really not enjoyable anymore with them because they cannot eat as much as they could before, which upsets me. But that's okay. I'm glad that they was not weight though. 
but yeah um yeah so that means like as i said sam matt and gus and i all go back to school on the same day since we go to the same high school yeah I don't know right now if they know we go back on the 13th. I mean, I just got the letter in the mail like a couple of days ago saying we do. So I don't know if they know. But they should know by the time this is posted because I'll tell them. Um, yeah, so that's it. So we have like 35 days left of summer. Just over a month. And right over here, um, the reason why I'm not making videos for a while is because I had to read this book right here. It's my summer reading book. It's called Six Days in October, The Stock Market Crash of 1929. It's by Karen... Uh, let me zoom in on that. Actually, I can't read that. It's by Karen... Karen Blum... Karen Blum Enthel. Karen Blum Enthel. I don't... Blum, Blum Enthel. I'm bad at pronunciations. So let's just zoom out again. Oh, wait, wait, let me make it zoom out more. There we go, okay. So, because it's at 100%, right over here it's at 110%. Yeah, so this book has 146 pages, not including like the sources or the uh, acknowledge or the all about me, whatever it is at the back. It has 146 pages. And I'm on page 24. So that means I still have to read exactly 112 more pages. It, yeah, that's not so bad. I mean, I just usually pick up, for my summer reading books for high school, I, um... Oh, for, I'll, I'll tell you, for my freshman year, going to the freshman year, I had to do, um, I had to read one of the books. There, there were choices of, like, The Running Dream, which I've heard in 8th grade, in 7th grade, because it was in my uh, middle school library. We had uh, Ender's Game, which my, I think Sam and Matt read that. They loved it. I wanted to read that one, because it sounds so interesting. And then, I haven't seen the movie either yet. <laughs> I hope to see the movie soon. Maybe if, it come, maybe if I have it on DVD or something, I don't know. And then, I, I and, and then, um... Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. Now, the Running Dream, Ender's Game, and Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry were like half the books. There are six books on those, I believe. At least six. I, I only remember those three titles. But I read Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. It's a really good book. And then for my soft going into sophomore year, uh, we had to read all classes. I think Chemistry A, which is the advanced chemistry class, which Sam took part in. Because he's smart, smart. And then I took Conceptual Chemistry. Because conceptual, conceptual Chemistry has less math in it. Because I'm not, math is my weakest subject. I mean, like, this past year I got a B in it for my final se second semester grade, which isn't, which is pretty good, so I'm happy with it. And it, but it's really hard. I took, um, geometry, and this fall, as a junior, I'm a junior right now in high school, I'm going to be taking algebra, I'm going to be taking algebra to trig. Now, I liked geometry way better than algebra two, or algebra for that matter, because I took algebra in freshman year. But then Sam took it in, um, he took it in 8th grade, and I, I passed the test to do it for eight, in 8th grade for algebra, but I couldn't take the stress, so yeah. And I couldn't take the stress of Smash too, because Smash 1 was more like on vocabulary and greetings, basically. And I'm, I'm ranting, sorry. But basically, Sam's taking pre-calculus right now, this fall, because he's a junior too. And by senior year, he's going to take calculus, which I think pre-cal and calc, I'm pretty sure calculus is definitely a college course. I'm not pretty sure, but I'm not sure about pre-cal because it's still in high school that everyone can take if they don't, if they don't fail pre-algebra or something like that. I took pre-algebra in 8th grade, uh, one of my worst years because like, I, I, I'm just bad at math. But I'm okay at math, I guess I should say. I got B in geometry for my second I'm I'm getting off topic again. So basically, where was I at? Mm -hmm. So, I've doing 112 more pages, which won't take me too long. I'm hoping to get it done within like less than a week, maybe like five days or so, if I really cracked out on it. But, the reason why I'm not uploading any videos past the um, my five year anniversary, like like I did last year exactly, if you go back to that video. I'll put the link in the description for the exact actual video from last year, because this is what I did. I promised my mom I'd um, crack down on my book. Um, on the tw starting the 25th of July, which is the day after my anniversary. And then I go back on the 13th, so I should have plenty of time to finish it, because I only need 112 more pages. But as I was saying before, is I I just pick a book. This time I just picked a book off random. I picked a Wealth of Numa Numa Crow off random, too, because I didn't really know much about the other books, so I was like, Wealth of Numa Crow, I'll just do this one. But then I picked this one for my junior year, so going into junior year, and it's... We we actually bought it off Amazon, you know. It's pretty cool, so we don't have to check out from the library, and I can keep it as long as I want. I still have disappearing, the disappearing spoon, oh, which is the book we had to read going into sophomore year. 
But yeah, out of the periodic table of elements in the book, you know, it's pretty nice. So I think you, I think who wrote that book was Sam Keen, and he spelled his last name K E A N E, I believe. Keen, yeah. So the E is silent. I don't know. But yeah, this book I just picked out of random because I just picked off the list. And it was surprisingly a short book, which I got lucky of. But I'll still read it and understand it. What I do for my books is I usually do chapter summaries. And this book isn't really divided into chapters. It's more like topics and sections, really. So section summaries or whatever. And then I, and then um, I do that so I can remember what happened in each section. And I read over again and again and again uh, before I have to take the test. I'm pretty sure our tests for these books are on the first day of school for juniors. Now it was within the first second week of school for um, sophomores for the disappearing spoon test. Yeah. So yeah, there's there's that. Um, I'm gonna have to be cracking down on this book. So that's why there's been there'll be no videos. Also, one other thing I want to do is. Um, I already, already, um, said thank you for how many subscribers I had in my, um, four, five year anniversary video. But now, thank you guys for 1,235 subscribers. I'm really happy with that. Like, I, I like how my subscriber count's going up and all that. I try to do awesome videos for you guys. And thank you guys for 600,000, 648,852 viewers altogether. That's pretty nice. And yeah. Go subscribe to The Real Tibia C. Sam, uh, Summer Variable Matt. Size Supper Golf Guy, Gus, and Super Nintendo Guys, our club channel. It's pretty awesome. So there's that. And then, I also have a Twitter page, as I said in my 5 year anniversary video. Thank you guys for 332 followers. I hope you like my tweets and all that. So I tweet every, everything really, and it's really nice. Like all these tweets right here. And, I, and every time I like a video, as I said in my um, 5 year anniversary video, I, it goes to my Twitter as soon as I hit the like button. It says, like, I liked an at YouTube video at video link and then title <laughs> yeah oh yeah I had to show the bubbles with one in my five year anniversary and finally here's my Facebook fan page thank you guys for two likes it's really awesome yeah and yeah two likes is awesome I mean two likes is my Facebook fan page I found it since 2013 you know here's my banner here's my icon as I use for Twitter Facebook and YouTube and then I'm trying to work on my Tumblr right here, but I, I'm, I'm really procrastinating on that. Also, one other thing I'm procrastinating on is not really custom thumbnails because I'm actually doing them again, if you notice. Like, all my po most of my Pokemon Ruby videos have them, and then some of my da Pokemon Diamond and Pearl videos have uh, Diamond, Pokemon Diamond, not Diamond and Pearl, Pokemon Diamond. I have some of those custom thumbnails for that too. And one other thing I'm really procrastinating on is my annotations for like the next, last, and playlist and also my outro because that has next last and playlist annotations but not now because i haven't done them in like two or three months which is very 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 lazy of me i'm sorry for that eventually i will update them all but doing due to this being like my last full day of um enjoying making youtube videos and stuff because tomorrow i'm having my friends over and then actually as i said before tomorrow night i'm going to camp chinese before which is gonna be awesome as i said before so yeah, I'll get to them as soon as I can. I mean, I, I'm really procrastinating against them. I, like, I'm so lazy on those now. But I will get them updated eventually, so you can count on that. So, oh, there's my, there's my, um, background. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, what's wrong with this? Um, there we go. Okay. So, that's really all I had to update you guys on. So, sorry if this video is quite long. I just want to explain everything and make sure you guys don't freak out if you don't see any videos for a while. I'm su I'm suspecting I'm going to put on my, I'm going to um, be on a hiatus f for videos for like about a week and a half or a week. At the most a week, I'd say, actually. We'll see how I do. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my five year anniversary video I uploaded before this. Hope you guys watched this video so you know what's going on. Again, I'll put the link in the description below on the video I made last year because I had the same problem deal with my mom where I'd finish my reading book after the summer reading book after July 24th which is my anniversary so yeah so don't really expect any videos for at least a week I'd say so again I hope you guys like this video and I hope it wasn't too long it was probably long I'm sorry I just want to update you guys on everything shout out to all my friends and all that as I said and then I wanted to show off my Twitter and my Facebook and I'm working on my Tumblr. Yeah, so this has been Dragon Gold again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in my next video.